You have to work. You have to work. It's already late. And I don't feel so great. Being a lazy bastard. And there's a fucking advertisement. Alright, I talk about no solo ball, akhbar, or azraq, or ahmar. Oh, sorry, I should talk in English in here. <coughs> Welcome back, everyone. Um, yesterday I worked very, very, very embarrassing amount of time. I worked only um, one hour. Embarrassment. So today is. Oh, wait, that was yesterday. Ask your yoga chart. Was busy. So today is. Um, actually, today is the deadline, not tomorrow. Today is the last day that I should work on um, the GUI. Let's see. And there are a lot of things that I haven't done yet. I need to fix the font color change. I need to fix um, the, the highlight for the keyboard. That will be nice. And I'm not sure how to do any of that immediately from the top of my head. I need to discover some of the stuff. So let's see. I'm still actually tired and dizzy and I'm not sure what's wrong with me. Um, maybe ca caffeine imbalance or whatever. My, my glasses, I just cleaned it and it, there's a spot on it. Give me a second. And there's a spot on the screen as well. What the hell? Come on. I don't have the whole day. I already wasted half of the day. Can I sleep in the morning? Playing a silly game on the morning. Staying awake way too late. Aha, uh -huh. I don't think I will work six hours, but I always keep the, the timer six hours because that's a sign that you really done your full time sucker. But this is a 16 minute timer. Let me restart it so we start both of them together. Okay, where were we? Yeah, let me clean the spot on the screen. Alright. Um. Before I, I do anything that's on the task list, uh, the guys that I contacted, they owe me the Arabic letters, sent me a new one. So let me see the, oh man, the height is not fixed. Come on. Ah, excuse me. Yeah, I'm a little bit not focused today. It's if not that's obvious. So one three seven eight divide by twenty. It's around sixty-nine. Oh the other one is around one eight, so it's the size that I suggested to them. No. Uh, let's give it a test. So first of all, let's change the name into Arabic um, Fuck I forgot the name Alpha 4 or I can delete these suckers and replace them. So 
uh, how can I tell what the hell is this thing? So this is the one that I need to replace. This one is the small one. And this one will do. Oh, this is the one that I made on haste. So I need to delete this one. I need to delete this one. And I need to rename this one. What the hell, dude? What the hell? Oh. Can you rebuild? Okay, let's make this one free. Where were we? Oh yeah, let's um, load the suckers. And try to print them. So this is uh, number three. And this is number two. Let's go reverse the order because I might implement at the end the three of them and try to change dynamically the size somehow. What? I don't believe it, guys. Come, I don't believe it. Should I fix it myself? And why is this guy printing the font before the buttons? Hmm, the space is so huge. That I could fix in a way or another. To make an exception, whenever the space is there, I add just... Yeah, the world we up is not working because I need to fix some of the stuff. There's a space before the meme. I might 
will fix the uh, phone by myself because asking them the fifth time to fix it is it's a headache and I'm already tired of everything I'm already tired of everything I'll open a YouTube channel and call it I'm tired of everything then I hate everything will sue me <sighs> I will hit me with the demon saying or whatever anyhow one of the issues we have is the color and apparently the color is screwed up um, so these ones are created on the fly I believe yeah and let's choose some of the colors so first of all I might have the screwed up not in the game but more in the guy who viewed them in the map simulator I'm not sure who so let me take a look on the map simulator how does it show the font and hopefully Hopefully I'll figure out what the hell is wrong. My best guess is the colors are merged more than reselected or whatever. Um, what I was going to do. Oh yeah. So let's load the game file, load the campaign when it's ready, load the stupid map, load the script dialogue. For example, the sample color here is dark blue and here is green, green, green. Um, in the game, if we run it, it's a dark blue, that's correct. It's a green, that's correct. Okay, so what's wrong? Not all the colors are working, it seems the color is fine. So here, let's make um, crimson, gold. Gray, purple, azura. All right, let's take a look. So, crimson, gold, gray, purple. Azure, why it didn't work, or is that the Azure thing? And the sizes are not the same, oh yeah, the sizes are different. Alright, seems fine. Maybe I meant the Arabic one, because I didn't deal with the Arabic one, because the Arabic one is not working yet! So I need to fix the Arabic font first. Man. I need to wake up. I need to get energy. I need to do something about this. Because there's a lot of them in work.
I'm playing with the screen once again. There are some sticky spot on it. I'm not sure from where. Hopefully it wasn't from the AC. Did the AC start spitting on my screen? Dang it. Where were we? Oh yeah, I need to um, add another one to change uh, well, one back counts. So all of these I'll do them later. So what we need to do next is to create a fixed dialog button choice that if the dialog doesn't have any choices and we are using this template of uh, S dialog one or S dialog then it should create a button to end the conversation here I have two choices either to kill the thing from the priority list or make it invisible if I kill the thing then every time I need the dialogue I need to create one and if the game is a heavy dialogue pace like Dungeons and Dragons games or CRPGs then that's not a good idea it's better to keep one dialogue for the player and reuse it forever the thing is this thing is actually for testing purposes I'm not going to use this in the future I might adjust it a little bit to use it but this is only for testing the game or the engine if I can make a timberlate that do whatever I want to do so yeah let's make um make the, the thing in here so you see here in the refresh dialogue uh in here we can make if is greater than zero then we do all the crap else and we could make a condition in here I love the underlines I mean the the, the underlines get lines saying I need to wake up, dang it. I drank already two tea and one coffee. Actually, I'm in the halfway of the coffee and I still fucking sleepy. <clears throat> All what I'm thinking about is to put my head on the pillow and snore. So in this case, we will create a guy and we will call him um, zero. Label work with choices.
And let's call it. I don't know. Um. Okay. Uh. Label. Let me see. I don't know. Whatever. Let's make the old capital at least. And then we will add it to the priority list. But before we add it to the priority list, I should add an action to it. Because these guys have actions. But what a step at a time. What a step at a time. So here, when we select any choice, we should get this okay thing. First of all, let me move these guys away. So this is the dialogue. If I choose this, it crashed instead of doing the right thing. So what went wrong? Hmm. We have null dialogues. Okay, okay, okay. Let's take a look. What have we done? Oh yeah, I forgot to set the dialogue to it. Silly me. So let's set the dialogue to it, and we need them. Um, a uh, set of strings uh, the first one is in English the second one is in Arabic that's mean we need to, enc to encrypt it so let's make a new key for this thing and let's take the Arabic one. Arabic, I said. And let's say Muafiq. Here we need the encrypted numbers. Come on, encrypt it. Don't tell me I broke something again. Thank you. So this is the encrypted numbers that will turn into Arabic magically. Let's test the scrap and it crashed before I even started. So here, if I click on any of them, we should get that thing. Oh yeah, but it's in the wrong position. Oh wow. Uh, oh yes, we are using the new font, which is still, um, it's almost there. We are almost there. We need to adjust the, uh, the X position. And we need, let's turn into the, to the first font in Arabic, the font that I programmed. So let's close this one, close this one, return this one. Alright. Oh, I hate these issues. For the God's sake. Why did you... Why did he send the okay in here? Oh God. All right. Uh, where's the okay button? Oh, way so far. Why did it go? Oh, okay. At least the encryption is correct, but what bugs me to hell 
is he tried to encrypt something that it shouldn't be encrypted. So turn it to Arabic, click on it, and it's fucking, yeah. In the text wrapper, um, oh, it's the, uh, this thing is like, I don't know how to put it. This is a temporary crap. Shouldn't be used. Okay, okay, okay. Now let's fix the position for the God's sake. Why the position is screwed up? It seems the position is fixed, 20. Let's add... Here it's fixed too, what the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Uh, let me do something, let me do something. What if I add the component S1? See, this is the whole thing. And we put it at One hundred. Is that the position? No, that's the layer, silly you. And let's make these suckers invisible. The other f uh, forms. Oh yeah, it was a mistake in the first place. We didn't get the position of the big daddy thing the the forum thing and i ne never noticed that till now so what we need to do is is to think for a second uh this thing the dialog menu component, the special one, doesn't have an object, a real object. It have a fake object actually, uh, which doesn't have a size or anything. It's using another object to use a frame, and we need to use the frame thing. Okay, the frame ID is the same. This object ID plus underscore f. So, what we need to do is to add that in here. So, what we need to do to access the priority list, use find, and we are using our own ID plus underscore F and access, access what? It should be the rectangle. Hopefully, please, hopefully, X. And it's the same thing for the OK button. All right. Oh, good, good. But now 20 seems a little bit too much. So let's decrease it by five. Still too much. Oh well, we need to decrease it by another five, but for now, oh yeah, but why, where is the okay? I don't see the okay. Well, the OK happens only when you switch to Arabic, then English, or switch to English. Beautiful. Not really. So let's try again. Yeah. 
Yeah, when I switch to English, it doesn't work. I must switch to Arabic, English. Lovely. Problems like these make me cry at night. That's why I cannot sleep at night. Not really, but anyway. Ugh. Let me try to fix this issue before I continue. So here, is there another overload? Please tell me yes. Oh yeah, there is. Why life is so difficult? I'm setting the stupid dialogue as okay and whatever. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. This guy is calling this guy, which is calling the base, which is calling the text fucking war rapper. That's why. And the text fucking war rapper is the guy who is calling the interpreter. And we didn't set the Arabic font yet dialogue because this is not the real thing. I just, uh, maybe I need to make an overload in here that's accept a real dialogue instead of, wait, there is, yeah, something like this. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's talk more work. And actually, I might delete this one because it's cool with the Arabic one. Uh, what the base does, what the base does, what the base does, only except this one. Okay. We need to send to the base the selected language. So, uh, game uh, selected language. Okay, that will solve it. Now, we go to here and we say new string. Actually, why should I make remake it while this guy exists? Alright. Now let's test it. Let's test the English one first. All right, the the font is too blue to to to, to show. Yeah, I'm really bad at color selection, and I apologize for that. And this one, all right, it's working. Even though the positioning and everything is crap, but. It's working, I don't care. Tuning is for later. This is only just proof of concept that the whole system work. And in the same time, provide good code examples to what's working, what's not. Oh. Testing. It seems my voice is working. Do you see the mic in here? I mean, I don't think five people or four people will stay if I'm not talking. Are you sure it's not from your end? Hello, I voice recorder, voice recorder, voice recorder, voice recorder. Testing, testing. Oh boy. 
Really? Um... Um... Recording, 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 testing, um, this is so silly, this is so silly, okay, do you hear me now? Uh, I wasn't talking when I was asking I should keep talking because well the recorder is working and um, OPS is telling me that there is a voice all the time and I'm selecting the right microphone and it is on okay thanks God sorry about that if it wasn't working what I was doing? What I was doing? I forgot. I completely forgot. Oh yeah, the last step is to make the thing uh, invisible. When I click on it. So we could do... How can we make it? How can we make it? We go to the initialize and add a code in here so let me make one on the fly a little bit messy and wait I need to initialize it too if I'm going to do it like that Oh well, no problem. Let's say set group visibility. But this thing will require the number and number, two numbers, zero and one. And maybe a word too. So it's a true or false. So here we need the dialogue itself. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Well, we can ignore it and make it a group, no problems. And the string and the controller. All right. Actually, the, the, the three of them will get ignored completely. So. Let's take a look. Uh, first of all, we will do the same thing. A tokenizer and ignore the first part, which is set group visibility. Um, Actually, uh, we need um, we need two integers, as I said. Oh, actually, even byte, but it doesn't matter. Um, and um, GUI group or menu component group num and int is visible. All right, uh, the first part, we should use try because it might fail. But 
Wow, I haven't used dry catch for years. Um, and this one, we will give it the first value and try to parse it. Or parse it. And the second one, the same. And this time we will end the sentence. And uh, try to use menu component uh, static function group set visibility. Oh, I told you it's a byte, damn it. And the next one is, oh great, um, let's make a question, or IFF, or IIF, what was it, IFF or I W two? ah, forget it, is equal to zero, then false, alright, now let's make this condition. Uh, we go to this guy, we add the tag, oh great, great, uh, let me think for a second, it's a choice tag, yeah it's a fucking choice tag. Wait. <sighs> this is not a choice, this is, um, it has a dialogue, and we are using the dialogue, we are not using the choice dialogue, great, my life is complicated, my life is so freaking complicated, we are printing here the dialogues actually, you see, we have dialogues and we have choices. Some dialogues have choices. This is the English one, and these are the three choices. What you see in here, this is the dialogue. Let me give you this as an example. Oh, great. Um, good day. How are you doing? Good day. How are you doing? And this is the choices. Good. How about you? Not good. And whatever. Good. How about you? Not good. Get lost. When I click on it, this is actually the dialogue itself. We need to create inside this fake dialogue a fake choice. And give it the tag. Do you believe that? Or. Let me think. How did I invoke the tag in the first place? Who is C in this case? C. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. This is the main dialogue that we are using in this template here we could make a fake choice and call it okay choice and Uh, 
I should initialize it only once, but I'm not sure where. Um, the easiest place to initialize it is, is uh, when we construct a new one. So let's make an initialize function somewhere in this mess. and call the initialize whenever we use a constructor and the ok choice tag is equal to whoops let's create one so what we need is this one uh, so dialog and the ID of the uh, no 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 the group number the group number and zero Now, how do we initialize it? This is uh, the, the copy part. Uh, we receive these suckers, the tags, and we do, we call a function called single choice initialize. And the single choice initialize, take the C. Hmm. The problem is this guy is living in the game initialize. This guy, I don't think I can call it, can I? I might do it manually, whatever. Actually, yeah, let's do it manually. Screw it. Screw it. Screw it. Because that one will take the data from this file and create the, 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 the function depends on the data in here this is the tag here I'm just creating it and it's fixed even though it's I just said it here so uh, okay choice tag alright now what now whenever I click on OK, we should activate it somehow. Uh, I need to add a delegate for the mouse click on it. Wait a second. Get tag function. Get tag function. What? Add. Invoke. What the heck is going on? Why am I invoking them in here? And they're fresh. I'm a little bit confused. I'm a little bit confused. Shouldn't we use the map mouse thing? What the heck is going on? I'm losing it. Okay, take it easy. I'm going through all the functions. And I'm invoking them. Why? This is the first I'm not sure what the heck is this. What this is 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 why is this here? Shouldn't we have a mouse delegate? Yeah I'm losing it. I'm losing it badly. I'm losing it. Bummer. 
Palmer, Palmer, Palmer. Happy now? Oh, what? Lovely. Mm. Very lovely. Let me think. Let's call it okay. C. You know you are annoying like hell. Oh, wow. The tag wasn't initialized as empty, so it crashed. He considered it null, like. So what the heck is going on? I, I, I'm, 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 I'm not sure. Did I click on C1? I believe I click on C1. Um. Why is he invoking all of them? What the hell is going on? I'm crying. I'm losing it. This just doesn't make sense. Because we are calling it in the refresh dialogue section. Mouse click. Alright. Check clicked. Check clicked. Where are you? Update. This is in the control manager. This is in the test, the update. This is in the control manager again. And this is in the menu component. Okay, okay, okay. So, the, the father in the menu component is responsible on all the check click, right? Right. But I could override it. I believe. How did it jump from here <laughs> uh, to there? Um, I don't get it. It's my code, and I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm completely not sure. Maybe I need to rest my head for a second. What what is this? Get tag function AR. Let me go and This is the in the dialogue. It returned the tag function AR and this one returned the actions. Uh, 
I see. Because the action... Wait, so only... The whole thing is work only with the clicking? Okay. So it's called next dialogue, which is... This one. It's called refresh dialogue. Why this thing wasn't in the track? And immediately jump from here to here. This is freaking confusing. Because it should call this one by the action itself. And it called refresh dialogue. Alright. Now, how can we stick the OK choice? to the label to this one so um, okay LMC get dialogue set choice no add choice add choice add choice add choice yeah add choice but wait Let me add choice by... Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, choices are choices, right? Yeah, let me add choice by choice reference. Uh, for these cases. Um, so we need an ID and a choice. So we go here and oh come on uh, the ID should be um, whatsoever okay see Now this is the question, how can we invoke it? I guess it gets invoked when I click on it, right? But how do we know if I click on this it will be OKC? Well, that, that's what's confused me the most. Um, the one that says the next dialogue. How did I code this mess? Damn it. It was so clear that time when I made it. But now it seems confusing like hell. Well, we need to invoke it somehow. <laughs> we need to invoke it somehow. It's it's worrisome that it's invoked in the refresh part because the refresh part is called in the constructor to 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 initialize the uh, the things. So let me um, do something silly.
So this is the first time it show up to add the labels, all right? And here we are taking the choices from the dialogue, which has three. The I'm good, fine, whatever, and it could be better and get lost. And here it add the three of them. Oh, wait a minute. So this is the first choice, huh? Wait a second. If this is the first choice, then why do we have another? Oh, this uh, this is all the tag functions. We can have more than one. But I didn't click on any yet. Alright. Alright. I didn't click on any yet. I'm not sure. Isn't invoke the guy who call? Wow, I'm so confused. I'm so confused like hell. Uh, and here, when I initialize the functions for moving the character, how did I invoke them? Only God knows. I don't remember. I invoke them in the default activator. Oh, the time is up. The time is up. The time is up here. So that's what's confused me. Why it's invoked inside their fresh? Here, the refresh we call it twice, or in two cases. Either when I made a new um, dialogue template, and this one is called from the constructor. See, this is the constructor. I actually add menu when we have a new one. And we add the, the, the three choices. Then we add all the no. Uh, uh. Now this thing is called. This is confusing okay. like fuck. Do you know what? I will play like stupid guy and click on OK and see what happened. Of course, nothing happens for you. Let me try this and I'll take a break. Wait, wait, wait. What do I need? The controller, the the Timberlake, the I dialog. What was the last one? The string. The string is fixed, so we don't need one actually. No, we do need one, silly you.
Wait a second. Look at me. Look at me. Going around like a headless horse. And I didn't notice this part. Look at me. When I noticed the fantasy through the semicolon, this is what happened when you're not awake and you try to code, I guess. I need to get angry. I need to find a way to wake up. Seriously. And I was like, there must be a dialogue. There must be a dialogue. And I was like a headless chicken, not that horse. Oh well. Um. What now? Oh yeah, I need to connect it to the component, not to the choice. I need to connect it here. I like the format. Should I keep it like this? Okay. All of that because my parentheses or spaces wasn't that style I have the standard in my mind. That's why I messed it up. That's why I messed it up. And I got fucked up. Argument out of fucking range. Fucking A. Tag function tag. Tag function tag. Like, give me a second. Uh, add choices. Oh, give me a fucking break. I know you're not happy with this, but not more than me. Give me a fucking break. Alright, we are in a dialogue. Property or empire or whatever. And we have tag function tag as a list of fucking strings. And we didn't add one. I add the tag, but not the tag function tag. All right. Uh, and this one, this takes a tag bar. Okay, 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 okay. We made a choice. By using this, right? We need a tag section, so our screw the clock. I don't want to see the twinking thing. Fuck it. I just okay. The blinking thing was blinding me. Damn it. Um. So. Tag is equal to tag. And now we go to here. And in here, we give him the tag. And we can delete this one. Let's give it a try. Finally! Fucking A. Sorry if I scared you. Um, let's try the Arabic version. Because I fear it will crash as usual. Oh no, it's working. Get the fuck out of here. So the next step is 
we will try to fire the choices by keyboard. That's mean we need to make highlight. That's mean fucking A. So let me take a break for 10 minutes. Making more coffee or something. And be right back. I said be right back. Don't edit the fucking picture. 280.
Yeah, coffee is always good, but the problem is I'm back. The problem is my stomach cannot stand coffee too much. Uh, so there are periods of time that I stop taking coffee completely, sold on tea. E coffee is the, the biggest factor. And no energy drink for, for sure. I used to take energy drink when I was in, in the in USA. A lot. I was in a uh, life crisis with family and trying to get the master and a lot of issues, man. Tough time, tough time. I'm glad that I'm free from all the crap. <sighs> yeah, sorry being angry a little bit. The code was so obvious and so easy and yet I wasted a lot of time roaming around. Let me fix the filter. Every time I move away, I need to disconnect the filter because it's kind of hard to... It's getting in my way out and it's taking some space and my table is glass. I cannot fix it so strong. A lot of stupid things. Um, an abandoned table. I clean the tub and I'm using it. After I get money, I'll replace it as soon as fucking possible. But actually, I need to replace a lot of things. My glasses is more than six years old. My table need to be replaced. Dang it. Oh well. I'm waiting till I get some money from this stupid project. That will be like in seven years or something. No, hopefully, hopefully next year I'll have products. Actually, at the end of the year, hopefully I'll remake one of my biggest game I made when I was in high school. Um, I will remake it without the story and distribute it for free, English and Arabic. I always dreamed, always dreamed to have a multi-language support. This system I can add and remove languages anytime. I can say, hey, I want four languages. And all of a sudden, is the mic on? The mic on. All of a sudden, I have four languages in the system and I can replace the names. And I have four languages, and then compare between them. Or I can return them back to two. I always dream to have such a thing. All of a sudden, we have two languages. Oops. One. Oh, shit. What the hell, dude? Why did you delete the first one, not the last one? That was a failure imitation of Mario Death. Oh wow. Oh wow. I screwed up the Arabic language all of a sudden. Uh, I need to load the file without saving. And I was like, oh, adding and removing languages so easily. Heck. I screwed it up. Like, what the hell, dude? What the hell? I didn't, I don't know how did he delete the, the Arabic one, which is in the middle. Like, if I want to make it on purpose, I won't be able to do that. So let's turn the Arabic, this one. Okay. We didn't lose it because we didn't save. Thanks God. Anyway, let's turn the timer on. The next task is much harder than the previous one, especially if I want to do it in the right way. We need to uh, make the choices get highlighted and selected by the keyboard if I press up and down. So we need to do several things. The first thing we need to do the character is still moving with the keyboard. Uh, we need to channel the keyboard input when there is a dialogue that takes keyboard input. That's the first thing we need to do. So instead of this going to the, the player, it goes to here. In other words, in other words, in my engine language, we should change the controller control unit. Actually, I just thought about this idea. I was going to do something else. Brilliant. Brilliant, actually. I love it. The idea is so great. 
No, I'm not joking. The idea, I really love it. So we go to the controller. And you see, you have a target. And the target is called eye controllable. And he can channel the control through the profile. But the, 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 this is uh, the thing. He have a default controllable and a temporary controllable. We need to put the temporary controllable, which is um, the C1, the current and default. In other words, we need to turn this guy into eye controllable. Let me take a look. Let me take a look. What's eye controllable need to to have? Jesus. You need the action condition system. No, I need to make them uh, uh, unimplemented or something. And the git name become git id maybe. Let me think for a second. Let me think. What does C target and D target do? In the old game engine, I have a way to say the controller. The controller is the player is you when you have a control a main character and imagine you uh, fire a bullet that make the, the camera follow it like this one so this is the current target that we are following but when it, the bullet timer or the camera timer finished it returned to the default target so this is the whole idea so I'm thinking to make the dialogue itself to be at the a current target we change the camera all of a sudden to the dialogue not the camera the controller himself so we control the dialogue when the dialogue finish and it closed it returned to the default one so that was uh, what i was thinking so it returned back to i didn't change it by command i can open the command and change everyone uh or click on the keyboard and by default it changed to Oh, it's not implemented in here. Here. So I can I, the the current one means temporary, not def default. You can change the default too. So it's useful for cutscenes and stuff, or as I said, yeah, cutscene like you you give the camera to someone else or you control something else for a while. So I'm thinking to use this capability, one of the oldest capability I add to the controller. But the problem is, I controllable became ridiculously high. Uh, it requests to implement the whole action condition system, and I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. All what I want to do is just when you press up, something happened. When you press down, something happened. Um, so when we go to the game I and I. And here, action request. Oh yeah, we could use action request to move the, the highlight up and down. Yeah, the only thing we need to implement is action request. So let's do that. Let's do that. Um, let me close most of the guys here. This is going to be a little bit ugly, by the way. A little bit. So we are going to turn... Not you... Uh, no, this is, oh, yeah, this is, oh, sorry. U into I controllable. 
and I controllable <sighs> control M O Alright Region I controllable and region So public return ID. So we only need action request. And I'm not sure how to not implement the rest except by making them do nothing. I'm thinking to change how the um, How the eye controllable change uh, work all of a sudden? Oh, come on, what's wrong with me? But I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So, action request. Let me check um, the normal object. What does it do? Creator object. Yeah, I'm sorry if my work is not. Um, easy to figure out because it has been more i was working on it the the this thing that i just showed you i was working on it when i was in my second college second time in college when i was doing my baccalaureate and master and this is like not dynamic not data driven a little bit messy uh, not for the long run, uh, just proof of concept to, for the map interaction and everything. When I couldn't find a job in USA and tried to get the freelance and a lot of crap happened, I decided to do it. So I have been working on this engine, which is a continuous work for the proof of concept for two years. It has been two years already. Uh, month six was two years, so it's now almost August. So yeah, two years and a month. That's why it's a little bit hard to catch on, I guess. So here it check all the creatures, but we don't care about the creatures. We are going to make our own thing. Oh, so in other words, we could make, hmm. I wonder if there's a way to make it in a general way. So I don't need to remake it for everyone. Let me try, let me try, let me try. I will try to do, to do it here for the S dialogue first. So here, not implemented. I wonder what the hell is going on. Oh, we need to make them public. I could throw not implemented thing, but to be honest, I don't know it's good way how to use this thing not implemented exception thing and I'm not sure how to throw it in the first place either so anyhow 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 let me think um, we have action request request and target but this one is only a request and How do I take the keys? How do I take the keys? Um, let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think. In the test game, the easiest way to detect how I take keys is to play the game a little bit. Um, 
<laughs> okay, game I and I. Uh, let me walk. Let me walk. And see the hierarchy of code before I lose my head. Oh, this is the left side, sorry. So, it's the action request. Um, this is the controller profile. Yeah, we need to add a profile in the, in the, in the whole thing. So, we are sending to the action request the key input key oh i see 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 and this one is taken from the take in but all right all right all right all right all right let me take a look let me take a look let me take a look Control, profile, hmm. Hmm. I fear I cannot add it in here as a data driven. It must be added manually. And I'm glad that I left the code to add the thing manually. This is how I make the control controllable. <laughs> um, you can add the keys in here, the keyboard or joystick, and later on the mouse, and later on combination of clicks, like shift A and things. I need to add more stuff in here. I don't know how am I going to stuff it in this menu, but I need. To, I might remove this one, profile creation, and put it somewhere else to add uh, the rest of the feature. And the key here is add a request. And this request is sent to the delegate and then we deal with it. So we need to use up and down, but not for walker, but for the S dialog. So what we are going to do, we are going step by step. I need to focus a little bit. As I said, this, uh, this tragedy will take some time to do. I mean, this task. Um, here, I add to the profile manually some inputs before. We need to use that once again. So we need up and down. So you see here, uh, we are using W and up. But instead of walker, and this is what I'm not sure how am I going to do it. S dialog. Uh, how do I check for the name? This is not. Uh, wow, well, yeah. yeah. What is this? Okay, 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 okay. And we need the down as well. Well, I called it cosh, but we will call it down. And we need enter too. Let's stick with up and down for now. Um, what's bothering me the most is the AB profile AR. Let me take a look. I'm losing my sight. Set target. I'm losing my sight heavily. Uh, what's going on here? Um, the 
get name. We are using get name. Hmm. So let's fix the get name and uh, s dialog. So here s dialog. Let me make sure it's the same name. This is almost like a good move, a good move, a good coding move. But it's a little bit confusing too. Here we need to uh, switch the quest. And we have case up and case down. Then we can add the joystick as well. And we do the similar thing. Actually, exactly the same thing. Both of them call the request. Doesn't matter. So the code will, won't change. I just need to add the joystick control in here. But for now, let's focus a little bit. Here we need to do a highlight first. Let me first run the code and see if it's going to crash or not. Yep, it crashed. So we have only Walker. That's why he's not happy. So we need to add um, a profile. This thing should be data driven. But as you can see, my other projects is designed to add control only for um, creatures. So um, it will take a while before I could make it um, support the, uh, supports different things, especially this thing is completely made inside the code, it's hard coded. This is a template for the dialogue. So we should add this part of code in the initialize itself. But we are taking it slowly, one by one. Let's see if it's going to crash again. Fucking A. Key not found, exception. The given key is not present in the dictionary. I need to understand the hierarchy of the whole thing. Let me see. Um, I need to make a new A profile in here. Can I do that? Alright, it didn't crash. That's the first step. The second step... Let's try to make a highlight. To make a highlight, we need to know which one is highlighted. So we can make a byte for that. Um, highlight number. Oh, let's start it with zero. And let me think. How can we um, change the picture if it's highlighted? <sighs> we need to make a fucking long function for to do that, don't we? Um, public void 
highlight with dash. If and fucking if. Oh great. Um, I was going to check this guy count and this guy became all of a sudden is fucking local So we need to check this guy If we have no choices in the dialogue I should have gone to the other program to make examples every time the, the editor For the new guy's sakes, let's load the game load The map so we are dealing with dialogues and choices. So for example, this dialogue and these are the choices have three choices. This one has zero. So we want to check if we have zero, we highlighted the fixed one. And if not, we highlight the selected one. Uh, so if count is equal to zero, we do something else. All right. Um, we could send the uh, the number that we need to highlight. Hmm. And we say if a oh wait 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 what if the highlight is less than zero like yeah if h is less or equal less than zero then h is zero and then highlight is equal to math max max or min min mm, wait 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 maybe i want to make a loop maybe if i want to make a loop maybe i want to make a loop uh so if i click up the, the highlight number will decrease so if it became uh, negative one, we should make it maximum actually. So uh, this one is ah, this one. If is greater. then we make it into zero and then highlight is equal to h then we turn all the buttons how can we do that sigh sigh Um, give me a second. The priority list, find ID, ID plus CP plus highlight. Uh, I need to change the image. <laughs> uh, Can I change the image? I'm not sure if I can change the image. Uh, in the drawing, when we draw, where is the draw? I'm having a headache.
Wait, this is the font. Uh, it's printable. And this is the text. Where's the rest? G texture. Okay. So G texture is the guy who holding the image. And this is the G image. So are you telling me I need yeah? Uh, I need to make a function to set the st t t t t t g for fucking texture. Control M O to collapse all the suckers. G name visibility public void set g texture and is it the way to do that is it the right way to do that i'm not sure i'm not sure um string j image j image is equal to this j image is equal to j image and then load this sucker all right now we do set g texture and let's make it uh, b2 and we need to set the rest into um P1 Alright Now we need to call this guy Where do we call this guy? We call the highlight guy When we click on the keyboard up and down Right? So Um, focus. Where was that? In the control section here. So in up, we uh, call this one with highlight uh, minus minus, and this one with plus plus I feel I will face 100 crash and one but let's test it let's test it oh I forgot something important to um, to change the control of the user into this thing so let me take a look but before that, let's call the highlight in the creation. So when we make the component, let's call it with the highlight. Come on. Oh, this is fucking static. Okay, 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 okay. SDMC. With SDMC highlight. Happy now? Okay. Let's see how it's crash. Yeah, figured. Oh. Because we don't have a fourth button, right? No, zero? Uh, okay, 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 okay. Give me a second. Uh, we have 31 component. Great. Um, 
Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. It is a label. Um. Dialogue to CP2. Oh, 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 underscore. And beside, we should uh, make a check if it exists or not. We cannot just do it. Um, how can I check if it's not null? What? Really? It didn't crash? There is a way to check if it's not null, but I forgot how. Uh, we need to check if it's not null. Maybe that was the way, but... I'm not going to risk it. I don't see any highlight. Um, let me see. Oh, wait a second. Wait a fucking second. Oh, come on. Stop, 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 stop. I don't see the difference. Let me, um, where are you, Mr. Content? So this is B1, this is fucking B2. B1, B2. B2. It became B2. And it's loaded into B. Wait a minute. I don't need to load the content every time, do I? I don't need to do that. So we need to set G image. What's wrong with me? Totally fucked, but anyway, 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 it's not working, and I hate it, and I hate myself, and I hate everyone, and I hate you, even you, the audience. Um, I'm not sure why it's not working, but, um, let, let's try to set the highlight to it when I get the priority list. So what we are going to do, if the priority list have iDialog MC, let me drink some of the tea before it gets cold. It should change the control uh, target. How can we do that? How can we do that? To be honest, I'm upset. Why did it did it did it did it did it did did tool dual? Okay. Um, dialogue test CP0 image should be become B2. So let's get, take a look on the priority list. And this one, not this one. I'm trying to set the highlight for the buttons. This one should become B2, the, the image. 
Damage here is B1. Uh, let me take a look. Oh, wait. G texture. Loaded. Yeah, I need to load. I need to load. And I'm a little bit um, fucked up. I'm a little bit fucked up. Uh, are we using the J image or are we using... Hmm, why this thing is exist? Why this thing is exist? Why does it exist? We don't need it. We don't need this fucker. Because we should use the universal dictionary, no? Where's the draw? Where's the draw? I'm losing it. Draw. Um, this is draw string. Screw the string. Um, G texture. Oh, draw the texture. What the hell? Why am I not using the universal crap? Let me change this sucker. Oh, this is the drag. Careful. Game core. Current game. Dictionary. Oh, texture dictionary. Wait, do I have a section for the GUI? Yeah, I do. Hmm. But it doesn't have all of them. GUI Oh, it's all capital J image Come on Oh yeah, um, C, value, J image. It should be like this, but if I run this, it will crash. Because I don't have all the, the things that I need. Uh, this one is F1. And I don't have F1 in here. So let me try to add them. Why things are complicated? Yeah, the, the GUI design, I made it before I made the data driven and the game file. And it was like more than two years ago. And then I completed it later on, which is just recently. So let's add F1, add gray, add white. I do have white, but with small. And delete is not working properly. Do you know what? Let me cancel. Make a copy of the game file. We don't want to lose it by mistake. This is the test game. Why did we lose them? Jesus Christ, what the hell is this? Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> 
content images GUI I'm sorry I'm not focused that much Again, file let me copy one and put it here because I don't want to get it corrupted by any mistake uh, let me add the images to the GUI and let the GUI load them from the dictionary from the game itself I don't want each GUI have its own texture What am I doing? Edit the game. Thank you. Go to the GUI. Add the content uh, F1 and gray. And white with capital. I'm not sure if I can do that. Um, the funny part is I lost them from the game from the test side. What the hell? Be fucking patient. Be fucking patient. Because I believe I made it capital in Please don't do that to me. Oh, great. Yes. Oh, what the hell? Can you change the stupid format how this thing is look like? Um, view, view. Where's the view? Um, list. Thank you. Don't tell me he doesn't accept one is small and one capital because that will be gay. And I cannot delete it from here because delete is screwed up. Anyway, save. Edit again. Go to the GUI. Um, okay. Rename. Uh, replace with this one. Save. Edit. Yeah, everything is broken. Mm. Whatever. All right. Um. We need to replace the game file and put it here and see how it crashed badly. What the fuck is going on? Can you run? Okay. I tied the Lassil Avish of Sahil. Uh, it's stuck. Fucking run, please. Thank you. Now it worked. Um. Yeah, I don't know why they got removed. Only God knows. I don't think I cut them. Um, I 
Be patient, it will work. F1, gray, and white. And white, change it for the God's sake into capital white. Oh, do you know what? Don't change it. Okay. Maybe because I moved them manually and it got them, I don't know. And I don't care. Hopefully it's fixed. Can we work, please? Please? Crash. F1 should exist. Oh, wait. So he say... Let me check something. Um, there is a place where I'm loading all the crab manually, all the texture. here and you see there's no GUI so let's add them content GUI GUI speed. Uh, I. And let's take a look. Remember, everything is loaded from the file and it should generate it into the data in this stupid thing. So we have GUI, FC1, B, B. Oh, the name is not GUI. The name is just F1 and white and crap. So let's remove the thing. Finally. Thank you. So as you can see, this is the highlighted one. If I drag it, it will use the normal texture. And I'm going to delete the normal texture. We, I don't want to use... A separate texture for everything. I want to use the stupid dictionary, universal dictionary that's inside the game. So you see in here when I'm dragging, we are using the the thing. We are going to replace it with the swing. And when we drag it, it print this thing. Yeah, for testing purposes, it doesn't do the color and the font size and the extra location. So it's, you, you see when I drag it different because I, I'm leaving it like that for testing purposes. Later on, I'm going to copy the data from here to here and screw it. Not now. Uh, we are going to remove the texture. I was surprised, like, what the hell? This is like the, uh, the prototype, the first game engine work that everything have its own texture uh, texture and stuff uh, not anymore not anymore all for one and one for all
so here we need to use our friend in here but our friend in here Maybe I should make a function that return the reference of the um, the, the texture. Yeah. Um, let me do that. Let me do that. Let me do that because actually there are not a lot of errors, but we will definitely use that. We could definitely use that. get G texture return and here texture 2d and here And with that, hopefully, we removed the old way to load the textures, but nope. There's always something fucked up. Oh yeah, the white fucking fuck fuck. Calm down. Calm down. Why I'm sad. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's replace it inside the fucker. I'm sorry for all the keywords. Replace. It is already fucking capital white. Oh yeah, re replace it with small, sorry. What now? I really fucking exist. Yeah, right. Um, if I delete it... Do you know what? Oh, give me a break. Uh, delete this one and add a new one okay can you rebuild yes save and rebuild i should call myself the angry c sharp coder or something fucking barity Actually, it's working. I'm awake. I'm kind of awake because I'm so freaking angry. Uh, the given key doesn't fucking exist.
I believe I can cry. No, I can fly. I believe I know where's the problem. Um, in the Timberlate, not the Timberlate, and when we created these guys, we decided the color in here. And this guy was the issue. And I believe in this dialogue when it created. Because I don't want to go and fix crap, you know? When we created the dialogue here. Uh, the, oh, it's F1. Okay, let's see. I need to break a keyboard or two. Okay, which one is this guy? Foo. It's a label. Happy now. Okay, last fucking step. In the priority list, wow, finally we are at this step, eh? Um, let me save everything. I believe when I control the thing in here, when I click on the mouse on them, Get texture, dragability, visibility, G number, set drag number. Where is it? Get group coordinate, drag release, check drag, check click. Here you see if it's not a priority, then we set the priority, right? So if it's the, it is the highest priority we do the click if it's not then we set the priority to the get number here if c value is dialog mc then this is tricky this is a little bit tricky controller Manager, no control manager, controller AR, the first player, sit, D target, is C value. Wait, why is not happy? Oh, uh, because we checked here if it is I dialog MC. Actually, we can even check it if it is I controllable. It doesn't have to be I dialog MC. For example, if the fucker is a bag, so you can control it with other things. The problem is not here, after we finish from him. How can we return to the default controller? Um, one of the ways... is making else there is a way to make the controller return to the normal without having it to call anything let me shake let me shake let me shake let me shake it's one of the oldest thing in history i controllable controller control mo 
Wow. Yeah, the old, um, some of the old crap need to be removed in here. He was the guy who was responsible in making the Arabic uh, and dialogue things, actually. So there is uh, some crap that's required removing. Actually, like 200 lines or something. No, there's no reset. Did I remove the code? Hmm. If you hit me with all the crap, I cannot tell what the hell is this code for. Oh, here, controller reset. Camera update. Forget it. Forget it. Um, I'm not sure if the D-target is implemented in the new system. Uh, I might didn't. I might did not implement that the control go to the D-target. Yeah. Let me check. Because there must be a way to return it to the C-target. And I cannot see it. The control reset. Mm, change target type, which I have... Um, not sure why it's called default. And here you see it's giving the same reference but twice so it doesn't get connected. So when I change the D target it doesn't change the C target. That's the whole point. But the update is weird. So if the C target is da 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 Yeah, this is the old thing to follow the camera and whatever and here let me remove this crap So this is camera related, nothing have to do with... I need to change the camera responsibility to something else, not to the controller, and make it as a camera class. So actually times is up for a while. So what we are trying to do, we are going to try to revive some old crap code and make myself when I'm controlling this, oh great, oh, I didn't remove this one, I thought it was a crash. When I'm remove, uh, controlling the player, he, will, he walks normally, but when the focus uh, is set to this guy, the control instead of going to the creature, it should go to this one, temporarily, till it returns to, um, to, to the guy. So I can move the highlight by up and down. And this will be useful for 
controlling other dial uh, other uh, menu components so we need to to, to uh, I need to revive the code the code was made for the prototype but it's meaningless because we actually not using this guy at all for the camera we are using another controller actually we are using this guy for the camera we are using an, a different entity and another instant different than the player to control the camera just for this code so we have to do a lot of mess to make it work i hate myself sometimes i'm not sure how to do it to be honest in a clear way i might need to make new functions these are old as dirt I mean, I don't have a player class anymore. Yeah, we will do that after the break. So. Well, the good news is I finished 160 minutes, almost 3 hours. Good progress for someone who was almost dying a few minutes ago. So, be right back.
So we are back. Let me fix a filter. Let me close the. I'm glad I went through all this trouble and try to add a feature that's not necessary for testing. The whole point of testing and uh, working on this, um, I don't know what should I call it, a test unit, prototype 2, whatever, to test the feature to figure out the underlying problems of my um, engine. And actually now I figured out while I was taking a break uh, what the heck is going on with this guy? But I still have one minute left in a break and I'm going to take it. I don't care. Um, actually, we need to do something in here. Anyhow, anyhow, you might wonder what happened if uh, I'm making a strategy game. This seems not good enough for strategy games. I mean, if you're going to channel the whole control for one unit, how are you going to command um, the building menu? How are you going to command different units and the hot bar and everything? Actually, in the strategy games, I need to create a fake object that channel the control to everything that you should control and this is how the system meant to be this is how the system meant to work actually in the first place so what we need to do in the control reset I don't know if I play with this a lot uh, it will break it would definitely fucking break but I need to play with it what we need to do I need to have two functions changing the current target which this one might do and resetting the controller and resetting the controller we need to set the C target as the default target without having a default connection. We cannot say current target is equal to default target. This will scrub many things. Will it? Will it? Will it? It won't scrub many things if, in one case, if we. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, it might not scrub a lot of things because we uh, set a new reference every time in here. No? I fear if you change the T target and then change the C target, hmm. Maybe it won't change anything. Let me see. I guess it won't change anything. Let me test it. Uh, okay, okay. So, what we're going to do. And did I set the timers? No, I didn't set the timers. Set the timers first. Thank you. In the menu component, when I set the priority, we change the current target. Um, we have issues on here. Uh, the screen is not how to put it. 
when I click on the screen, I want to remo I want to return to the game. But okay, okay, no problem. Depends on the game. Depends on the game. Here, when we close the sucker, let me focus for a second. Uh, control manager control a r0 set target no 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 no, 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 no. control reset let me let me try So now I'm controlling. We set the priority to this one. Mm, still goes to the player. What's C target? Real Walker. Okay. Didn't this one work? So is C controllable? Should be. Oh. Don't tell me. Jesus Christ. Because I clicked on uh, the, the frame, not this thing. This thing is invisible. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. There is a way, but that give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. When I click on any component and it is visible, And the layer is zero. Okay. So if the layer is not zero, we set the value of the group number layer priority into zero or it the most priority. Okay. So it doesn't matter if I click on the frame or the um, part of the frame. So you see, I, if I click on here or here or here or the buttons or whatever, it will set the priority. We want the main ID for these guys. These guys have fixed names. And if you notice, one of them is underscore F. One of them is underscore cp and so on and so forth we could what does find do find where are you where are you mr find oh you're in the priority fucking list
Control M O. Find. It can return null. Okay. Um. What I was doing? What I was doing? What I was? Yeah, here. So we want to check not any component, but the component with the name that doesn't have underscore. So what we are going to do, we're going to say if pl find, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Share function, beak. I believe beak have one without numbers. We want C value ID, but without the underscore Bart. And let's see what will happen. Oh yeah, um, uh, system. Diagnostics, debug, right line. And let's print that part as well. So I'm using my own tokenizer. If I click on this guy, it will say dialog test. Hmm. I believe that's the right name actually. So the is dialog which is a fake thing. It's dialog, it's called, where's the ID? Dialog fucking test. Oh yeah, we got him, we got him, we got him. So now he is the, um, the control thing. Let's see how it crashed badly. So, yep. Unable to cast object of type. FCC one, oopsie. Oopsie. Oh. Yep, I cannot move anymore. But up and down doesn't work either. So let's go to its dialog and check why up and down doesn't work. Are you telling me I should be, put the plus plus before? Yeah. 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 Yeah, add before and after and after and before and everything. All right. Sigh, sigh. Didn't I say if H is greater than the count? What? Ah, for the love's sake. Minus one. And there you go, but uh, what the hell? Up doesn't work like fast, but um, because... It should be minus one again. Yep. 
You are so cute sometimes. Up doesn't work, but down work. And why it's so fucking fast? Shouldn't the request happen only when I press up? Ah, uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. In the test game, let's make it only press up. Press up, what's the value? Not continuous. We don't want to make it continuous. Um, where is it first? I'm not sure about the values, screw me. Um, completely forgot. Um, it might be four. Let's take a look. Yeah, but it's still Still bad. Why up is not working? Let's take a look on up. Is the microphone on? Good. Is the be right back off? Okay, good. Okay. Sometimes I forget to be right back and I continue stream like that for hours and nobody talks. And it kills me from inside and outside and everywhere. Okay, sucker. What's going on? Highlight number. Oh, byte cannot be go below zero. Oh my god, this is stupid. This is annoying. This is. Sigh, sigh. Should I turn highlight into integer and kill myself? Yeah, let's do that. Fuck it. Good, now it's working. Because byte cannot be um, negative. But the funny part is, I made negative, negative uh, decrement byte and it accepted it without shooting a fucking error or a crash or warning. Uh, but anyhow, let's add enter. And we can add one, two, three, four to select the choices because this is a custom made dialog choices for the game so each one of the timbalets hold its own way of how it works actually i should add this crap somehow in the control initialize let's try to do that let's try to do that so each um timbalate hold its own weight for everything it do everything by itself it doesn't need someone else to tell it hey Let's do that. The thing is, if I add it here, hmm, no, we need one time initialize crap. So no, no, not in here. We could do it in here, in all all initialize crap. So this is run only once for everything for the game. So in here. We uh, could, even the, the bullet strategies are added here. So, we could make a function. And let's do that instead of blubbering. Region, uh, menu, component, part, and region.
private is it private or yeah private private static too void all menu component initialize yeah trying to make something fancy all right and here we call the function here let's see if this works nope oh wow neither that or that working sigh sigh Oh. Actually, you too in the all initialized crap. Now, if the thing closed, can I control? Good, good, good. So it returned to him. But I need to be careful because if I close it like um, from the X, the control won't return. So I need another way to return the control to him because it only returns when I choose the OK crap. Um, so I need to add it to the close somehow. Um, I lost my plot. What I was doing? Oh yeah, let's add uh, the OK thing, and maybe add one, two, three, two. So um, we need the. Uh, enter and the key enter and space and in the dialog template and the control section actually I really like it when I got the idea to make to turn this guy into a controllable I feel I finally used one of the systems in unexpected way. I wasn't expecting to do that. And hey, I'm trying to make something that open. Something that... Uh, how to put it? How to put it? How to put it? In words. I'm trying to make my engine easy to add to. Easy to control. Easy to make games with. And I'm trying to make the systems as smooth as possible as usable as possible as independent as in, as possible and it's kind of working it's kind of working so when i press enter we should do the same thing as the control uh, the, the mouse click do which is invoking this sucker invoking all the 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 the, 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 the choices so here
but this is um, the okay choice wait the okay choice no 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 we want to hmm. give me a second we want this one C value is what the um, from the choice dictionary okay 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 so instead of this we uh, we do uh, dialogues choice dictionary highlighted number uh, get choices get choices or get choice um, wait give me a second give me a second uh, we are invoking the what's this sigh sigh C value, okay. A C value is the current choice. So we need to take choice. So this is a choice, right? This is a choice. Get tag function, okay. So first of all, this one is this one. Oh crap, really? Um, oh yeah, 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 we, um, the name is fixed, is the ID CP plus one. Okay, 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 sorry. So it is, uh, Because the name is fixed. Um, same here. Okay. Pray that it will work. So here, if I press down and say get lost and press enter, it crash as usual. this is the name of the component but we want the name of the choice what's wrong with me um how did i get the name of the choice how am i doing anything right okay take it easy I'm not sure. Um, I'm a little bit confused as usual. This is a little bit of a mess, a little bit of a mess, a little bit of a mess. So here we have a new choice and its name is OKC. And this is the tag. 
and we added the function in here and it sh we should call OKC in here when we click on the mouse and instead because we have the choice reference we actually got it immediately from here okay here we have the choice reference too because we are adding the choices references to the label MC directly label MC is a special kind of uh, stupid fucker that it seems let me see what's going on it seems So I'm giving an ID and a counter and a get choice. This is a G name. We don't care about the G name. This is just the temporary label to print off immediately. And get choices, new dialogues. So we add dialogues on the fly to it. Shut up, phone. So we are accessing them directly from here. Okay. Okay. Fine. Fine. Okay, think for a second. You have the highlight number. And this is the... Um, okay, I got it, I got it. This is the number of the component. So we need to access the choice. So choice... Current choice is equal to... PL find ID which is this sucker that um, set dialog fucking A fuck you fucking A there is a dialog fuck you fucking A fuck you uh, this is menu component <sighs> oh, I need to turn it into fucking printable. Get dialog. This one will return the dialog. So let's make this one dialog. Uh, in the dialog, we need to get all. Give me a fucking break. Get. Mm. So we get the dialog, right? Uh, the dialog. We have choices dictionary, but it, um, it's ordered as a string. What's the name of these strings? So we're creating them here on the fly. Wait, it is the fucking thing. We turn the choice into a dialogue. What the hell? This is more confusing than I focus.
I believe the name is lost. Because we can access this thing. But this thing works on the dialogue. And it completely ignore the choices name. But we set the function fucker based on the choice name or the choice yeah the string the key itself in here why is it that complicated an easy way to fix that is to remember the names So we could do something like this. Um, private string or list string is equal to um, choices keys. And here we add C key. It's kind of funny, but what to do? What to do? Give me a second. Give me a choice. Give me whatever. So we have the highlight. And we know the dialog. So dialog, it's part of the class. Dialog, sorry get choices give me a break give me a break what's the name of this sucker dialogues yeah choices dictionary uh, choice key AR of the highlight number finally Of course, nothing work immediately. So this sucker is a fucking choice that we want to, want to choose. Fucking choice. Uh, and we need to replace it in here. And we need to replace it in here. I'm sorry that I'm, I'm cursing too much. But it seems that's how I work for today. And some certain days. So let's say get lost man and it crash. The height number uh, the highlighted number is two and it's called C3 and the dialogues is fucking empty. It has no choices. Oh oh this is the dialogue get changed before we fire the sucker. Um, wait a second, 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 wait a second. Um, this is the result. Um, the result dialogue maybe because I clicked twice or it could be yeah. maybe it registered a click twice so the highlight is 2 and the choice is C3 and the dialogue is MBC1K and this has three choices and we select the C3. 
which is correct and it turned again can I ask why do I have a loop Yeah, the dialogue changed after this because we invoked it already. Give me a second. Before but the count should be one the last count because what's going on is we are trying to take all the tags of this choice for the, its function so if we go to the choices c3 and you see here it's only one we have only one tag which should do so in other words in other words entered has registered twice because the dialogue has changed after that and the next dialogue doesn't has uh, the highlighted number and whatever so let me do something so first of all let's make the highlight into zero it's figured so this is the fourth choice. Why did it jump to there? System debug enter. It should only pressed once. I'm tired. I start, I'm starting getting sick of this. How many enters do we have? I need to remove the other diagnostics crap. sure then why does it print a lot of crap don't fuck with me He's fucking with me. Anyhow. Ooh. 
Who's printing the okay then? Get lost, how about you? Okay. Let me figure out who's calling this. So enter registered first. Then the next dialog happened. Wait. Oh, that's what the function do. Oh my God. The function changed the dialog. Then it came back. Uh, now this is a very interesting uh, problem to have so you see I made the dialogue system the choices themselves be capable of doing more than one thing. So I can add commas and add more. Commas or semicolons? I forgot, it should be semicolons, it shouldn't be commas. I didn't test it yet, but anyhow, Uh, anyhow, anyhow, anyhow. The problem is the function that is called, which is the first one, will change the dialog value of this object. And it will do the loop and it will crash. It's kind of annoying, it's kind of crazy, it's kind of bullshit. The only way is to solve this is I should force myself not to change the dialogue except when I do all the tags first. When I do all the text first, the last one should be dialogue change. And in here, we do some kind of flag. Like, boolean dialogue changed is equal to false. Two. And here, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. If dialogue changed, return or break actually. Break is from the four. So here we do false. So here, when I select down, enter, it doesn't cache. Found the problem. Down and up doesn't work. Congrats. So uh, the highlight number is zero. 
why it didn't work, why it didn't highlight the crap. Ah, here. So here, Let's try that out. Down, enter. It didn't highlight the crap. Oh, enter. Crash. We um, need to make a special case for um, the OK crap. Let's check the, the list. Oh, it's not cleared. Why oh, it's not cleared? Now, ah, there you go. You see here the choices key should be cleared, no? And here and else, uh, let's clear it again. And in here, we say if the choices count is empty, else, to be honest, I should make it the opposite because usually uh, empty is the last step. And usually there's more step that's not empty. So let's do greater than zero. And do this. As if it's greater than zero. If it is zero. Then we should activate the, the OK thing, which is this. One thing to do before I uh, finish this is to change the highlight is equal to zero should i refresh it somehow yeah okay let's test it so if this one is highlighted we can press down get lost old man and it crashes as usual why me Oh wait, we didn't add the crap. So good day, how are you doing? Not good, it could be better. Oh, what's wrong? Hopefully things will get better and I can press enter again and it crash as usual. Hey.
So apparently we resetted the, the the control and he's not happy with that. He says the given fucking key is not found. And uh, get name. Now I'm tired. Let's finish this with V and Beast and leave. Can I? Fuck this shit. System collection generic key not found. I cannot find what's get name. The fucking A. Um, this one. Is a real walker. Um, it's an object. It's a creature object. How can I access the game file? Yeah, I wish if he's a little bit more... A lot, don't tell me. It's the request crap. It might be the request crap. Let me see. Enter, okay. And I know there is no enter in the um, creature. But has key. Uh, yeah, he's checking has key. Union, previous press key, profile, um, fucking A, fucking A, fucking A. Didn't I check? That if this guy doesn't has it, if I use the mouse, it's all right. But if I use the keyboard and press enter, he loses mine because somehow he went to here. So let's press enter. Yeah. And he tried to send a request enter to the creature and the creature doesn't have enter in here in the game I and I when I initialize walker there is no enter there's walk left walk right roll kick whatever but no he's not checking this thing he's checking the keys and the keys are initialized from the file uh, from the, the file yeah from the file fucking a seriously how, how did he how did he jump from there to there All right. 
torrent, 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 torrent. Somehow we need to tell him, hey, ignore all the clicks. After I finish the clicking or what? What should I do? So the problem is after we return in here, when I finish the choice crap, um, here, I do the reset, he still register the key enter and he will still try to fire it in the creature. Why, why, why? Why? What bugs me to hell is it should check if the thing exists. In the, in the in the keys thing where is it in here in the, inside the loop so Here, it check all the keys that I previously clicked and now clicking. And if the current target have the key or not. So, <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I believe it's because we are checking the previous key too. And... No, that doesn't make sense. We change the target now. I don't get it. I'm lost. I'm screwed. And I'm tired. I really don't get it. Um, how the hell did it jump from the, the menu into the creature? Let me press enter. The key is enter, right? Yep, enter. And the condition is 4. Why 4 is special? Why do we have special? Do I need to check again? Do you know what? Let me check again. It's just stupid, but let's check again. Uh, has... Come on, don't, don't, don't. Oh, wait. This is the guy who's do the has thing. Da! Okay, come now. Where, where, where are you keeping? Where, where, where do you keep a profile? Uh, profile. This fucker. Isn't there an easier way to do this? I mean, give me a fucking break. I mean, if not a profile contain return fucking false. Oh wait, this is the whole object. This is, uh, I cannot control this object for some reason. 
so this one check everything and this one check if it is four So from what I understood, maybe my condition is wrong. What is action request release? Ah, I'm, I'm losing it. I'm, I want to run away, run away. But I need to solve this. I need to solve this. I need to solve this. Creature object. Action request release. Did I make one? For Walker? I don't think so. Nope, I do have one. Ah, I see. The easiest way to fix this, but I don't want to do it. I believe is to add a key for Walker that's due for Inter, but it does nothing. I believe that's the easiest way to do it. But I don't want to do it because I want to solve the problem from the core. But let me try it because I'm really, really not sure if this is the issue or not. So let's do um, real Walker and Inter. Nope, fucking A. So maybe that's not the problem. So I was thinking this was the problem, but it seems it wasn't. So let me read the error once again. System collection fucking generic key not found. The given key was not found. What given key? You have no fucking clue. So you have a real walker and it's dialog. I don't know what's good name give you in here. So let me go and check. I tried to see it in here and I don't see it. So let's go to creature object, get name. So it returns C name. The C name, if I'm not mistaken, is real walker. So here, C name is real walker so it shouldn't be this is the problem the key input doesn't have enter as i said what didn't i just add it Hello, what is this? Oops. <sighs> so 
So that was the fucking problem. Um, somehow, it moved the, the control manager. It checked the control for, um, it took the input. Send it to the GUI. Then it took the same key and send it to the player after we return the, the control to the player. And the player doesn't have space and enter, so it's screwed up. What if space do something and enter do something to the player? We, we, we need to prevent this bullshit without adding the keys to um, the, the, the player. But I'm, I'm fucking tired. The, the problem is this is the last thing I'm going to deal with the, the GUI. Tomorrow is a new month. Tomorrow? Wait. Yeah, tomorrow is a new month. And... Let me write that down. I could add the joystick easily. Really easily. So let's do that. Oh, screw it. Screw it. Screw it. Should I add the joystick? I don't know. Let me turn off the clock before I lose my mind. To, to add the joystick, we don't need to add abracadabra or anything. Not you. Uh, you. We do... Joystick input. Add. New couple. Button. Um... Up. And up. Something like this. Okay, 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 four. Up. The stick is a little bit different. I need to send the, the value. And A. for enter so let me connect my xbox controller i cannot see shit So let's turn on this sucker. Not working. Not working. Not sure why it's not working. I thought it would be as easy as this. So, so. I didn't change this code at all, so it should be the same thing. Oh, I didn't add release to this guy. Why is that? All of them are release. Weird. So 
So let's add the release to the joystick. And that's what bugs me the most. And here, I didn't add a release. What the hell? I add only a request. A lot of weird things going on, I'm telling you. Maybe if I All right. Let's go up everything I done the whole day. And in the game, let's remove the real walker. Let me see. Oh, hey, we fixed the issue. Do you imagine that? Without adding the enter. Do you imagine the fucking that? Are you sure? Let me check twice. Oh, wow. Unfucking believable. I should be fucking happy. But the joystick is still not working. There, there, there is always something that screw your day. But I'm fucking happy. So we made a highlight. Even though the system is not. As I said, this is. Not working for some reason. Even though they should be really easy, but I'm not sure and I don't care. Um, I need to fix the Arabic font uh, heights. And change the color and everything. And the English font, I should force it to be same size for the letters. So, uh, the dialogue is not perfect, but... Hopefully it will be enough to implement a simple game with. Uh, tomorrow, I need to decide what should I do to get myself ready for the game jam. I will enlist in the game jam in September too. And I need to make a few things including a simple inventory system. I need to make the items takeable again, and I need to do a few things. I need to make uh, moving from different maps uh, working again. So, yeah, I need to do some of these stuff. But for now, I have enough of work for today. Thank you for watching. And see you next time.